All right, y'all, what it do, y'all? What it do? Your boy is back on the grind one more time. Your boy is back at it again, y'all. And it is windy out here today, y'all. Very, very windy. I'm out here actually working on the box Chevy. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I've had this console here that my boy Steve Davis made. Shout out to Steve Davis, Steve Chevy Shop. If you ever need anything box Chevy related, even G Body related, <laughs> Chevelle related, pretty much anything, he's getting his hands on all these old schools, you guys, as far as um, interior console needs, kick panels, uh, anything audio, man, definitely get at him. But uh, he made this console for me. Overall, pretty basic console. Uh, the only thing I'm really losing is my iPad feature, which is fine. This is the old one that I had here, uh, and this is the new one. So the dope thing about this is these side panels pop off. He made it really easy for me to get those off in order to install the speakers. So I got my speakers from my old console, um, putting in this new console. So pretty, pretty dope. He did leave me a uh, function for LED. So this whole thing lights up. Um, the LED function here, you just have to hook it up to a power lead and a ground lead. So pretty straightforward on that. And then um, hooking up the speakers, everything's already wired. So all I gotta do is just plug and play literally. So what I'll do here is I'm not gonna actually show me installing it just because it's pretty straightforward the only thing you have to do with these consoles that he makes is you do have to unbolt the seat in order to get this console in because if you leave the seats in it just won't fit so um i think he said i only have to do one side so that's what i did so hopefully it'll slide right in there but i got my power function here the positive lead this white one's actually a ground and then i have my my two speaker uh, leads as well too so let me go ahead and get this thing installed and then um, i'll chime back in when it's all installed here so for you it'll be the snap of a finger for me it could be you know the next 20 minutes or so so anyways let's get it let's She is in there, and I might actually have to take it back out, lol. Oh, wait, no, I don't, because the cup holders come out. So I thought I was going to have to take it back out because I hooked up the power lead to the LED. So if you hit this right here, the LEDs will come on. But since it's hooked up to a 12-volt ignition, they only turn on when the key is on. So now you can see that mirrors light up. Turn it off lights up so yeah so i'm gonna have to actually uh hook this up to a 12 volt source if i want to run it run the leds when the car is parked which would actually be pretty cool i don't have oh i do have lights up in the front too as well too that run off of a, a 
a hot lead all the time to my halos and I don't know if I have I used to have an underglow underneath in the front to show my intercooler and pipes when I had my pro charger but I might not have that anymore I don't know but anyways long story short this is what it looks like y'all get in the comments let me know what you guys think major shout out to Steve Davis for this y'all uh, get at him again all your console audio kick panels rear deck uh dash needs anything he can he can build a lot of stuff y'all so uh, especially anything audio um he's good at upholstery too so get at him he's in atlanta georgia but uh man i've known him for a long time long time so he's my connect on these and then my my guys my go go to guys uh the griffin brothers uh, i have them mainly do my interior so yeah, man, I got some good, good people in my corner, y'all. So, anyways, uh, this is pretty much what it looks like. So, yeah, get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, again, I used to have my iPad there, but I really only ever use that iPad just for the gauges. So, I'm actually going to have to get those gauges to work anyway. It's about time anyway, or I'm going to go Dakota Digital or something like that. But I actually like the OG look, so I might just keep it and get and get that gauge working again. I actually have a, a uh, converter box from dakota digital that i can get that to work so since i'm not going to be using my ipad anymore i can actually plug that converter piece into my obd2 port which is down there because it used to use this and connect to my ipad bluetooth and then it would um, display all of my stats um with the car on the ipad but since i'm not going to be using that anymore so that converter hooks up to that obd2 port so i can use that now but yeah y'all get in the comments let me know what you guys think i'm really really digging it and yeah y'all i would play some music but you know how copyright goes but the music works everything's good and i love the fact that the uh, speakers are hidden so again get in the comments let me know what you guys think y'all told you it's gonna be the quickest video ever <laughs> but yeah y'all let me know Mr. Griffin 23, y'all. 78 Caprice Classic Sleeper Aero Coupe. Man. Man, man, man. So this thing's going back into storage here soon. So get a good look at it now. Because you probably won't be seeing it for a while. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Do all that good stuff, y'all. If you're new to the channel, y'all know. If you don't know, got that bad boy coming to the channel. 71 Chevelle. Pro Charger install coming soon. All right, y'all. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the good stuff, y'all. Mr. Grove 23 out. Deuces.